All right, so let's start with the G major scale in two octaves. I think most of you have played this somewhere, um, so this might be familiar. Of course, the point is hopefully that it's a little familiar because I'm trying to start with some review with things that maybe we've already seen. So if you already know it and you've seen it, great. This should be pretty easy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's okay. That's why we have this lesson today. And um, as well, the, um, the sheet music for this G scale is attached in the, um, is attached in the description below as well. Uh, all right, here we go. So the G scale, actually I'm just gonna play it once. The G scale is um, one of the longer scales, well it's a two octave scale, so it's long in the sense of that it covers all four strings and it mixes up second finger. So sometimes second finger is high, that is close to third finger, and sometimes se uh, second finger is low, that is it's close to first finger. How it works is actually kind of a nice little sort of useful thing. On the low two strings, so on the G string and the D string, second finger is high, so it's reversed. It's high on the lowest two strings. On the A string and the E string, second finger is low. So again, on the top, on the higher, let me try that again, on the lower two strings, second finger is high, and on the higher two strings, second finger is low. So I'll play the scale once. And if you get confused, remember the music's in the sheet. The, the, the music is in the uh, description below, so you can take a look at it and listen and watch at the same time. Oh yeah, the, what, there's one more thing. The notation in your um, in the sheet music has one note. Um, basically, has one note for each. Has one dot for each note going up and coming back down. The way I'm gonna play it now is actually with two. So you're gonna actually hear each note twice as I go up and down the scale, as opposed to the sheet music, which just has each note listed once. That's okay, you'll still, you'll still know what's going on here. So that so that's that's the whole scale. Um, let's do it again. Let's do it actually three times. Now that you've heard it, we're actually going to play it together three times. And the first time, I'm going to stop and remind you of where second finger is going to go, and I'll probably remind you the second time. But the third time, I want you guys to try it by yourselves. And of course, remember this video is meant to be watched, you know, more than once. So if you have trouble with it today, do the best you can, and then it'll probably be easier tomorrow. And if it's not easier tomorrow, maybe it'll be easier on the third day. But the point is, keep trying. Here we go. Here's the first time. Number one of three. So make sure your bow is sitting on the G string. And ready, go. G. High second finger. Now let's start right here, reminder two. Second finger is high here. It's close to third finger. Same thing here, second finger is different. Second finger is low, second finger is next to first finger. second finger is low and we're going to come down starting on second finger coming back down we're going to, we're 
pushing second finger, second finger is low, second finger is next to first finger. So we've played the top two strings, second finger is low on the higher two strings. Now we're in the lower two strings, so second finger is high. I knew it backwards. Second finger is next to third finger. So we're going to play that two more times, and again, I'm going to remind you this next time where the um, <laughs> I'm going to remind you next time where the uh, second finger is supposed to be. So again, as a quick reminder, lower two strings, second finger is high, next to third finger. On the higher two strings, second finger is low, it's so next to first finger. So here we go. G scale again. Of course, I don't have any reminders here, but make sure your violin's really on your shoulder, not on your chest. Make sure it's really on your shoulder. Make sure you have a really good bow hold. If you're holding your bow like this, that's fine with your thumb here um, on the outside, or if you have the advanced bow hold here, either one is fine. Just make sure you have a good soft, separate, and curved bow hold. All right, set your bow on the G string. Ready, go. Second finger is high. Continue, here we go. Second finger is high. Here we go. Here, we're, on the, we're starting the top two strings. Second finger is low next to first. Here we go. Again, second finger is low. Here we go. And that's the top of the scale, so we start those two notes and go back down the scale now. Here we go. Second finger is low. Here we go. Now we're starting the lower two strings, so second finger is high. Here we go. one more time. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop, like I just did, right before every time we use second finger. But instead of saying anything, I'm going to let you figure it out. <laughs> You'll know afterward because I'll keep playing, but I'm not going to give you any information other than just what you hear. So, but I will put a big pause in and you'll see, you'll see how that works in just a second. And of course, you can also watch the video again, or not the whole thing, right? You can also rewind this part of the video. So, again, make sure good play position feet, get your violin really on your shoulder, make sure we have a good healthy bow hold, whichever kind of bow hold you, you use, make sure it's soft, separate, and curved. All right, rest your bow on the G string. Here we go. Wait for you to figure out your second finger. Here we go. second finger. Here we go. Figure out your second finger. Here we go. Here we go. That's the top of the scale. Start on that note, coming back down. Here we go.
Figure out your second finger. Here we go. Figure out your second finger. Here we go. Second finger. Here we go. Okay, um, that should do it for today for your G skill. You can just do this every day just like that. You may not need to play it. The more comfortable you get with it, you may not need to play it three times every day. But the big important thing is that you know what your second finger is doing on all four strings. Thanks. So moving on.